the fast track program, um, as as I mentioned earlier about the uh, the weight loss uh, program, if you're very overweight and, and unfit, you would need to work at a very low intensity. But that's not the most effective way to actually lose weight because weight loss is really about calories burned uh, over calories consumed. Um, now, uh, if you if you took a 20 minute row and you did it um, as a one piece uh, session, then common sense will tell you that knowing that you've got to last for 20 minutes, you would go off at a pace that would be quite sedate to get you through that, that program. At the end of the program, your heart rate might have gone up to about 80% of heart rate max. And for someone that's relatively fit, within an, with, certainly within, within an hour, that heart rate would return would have returned to normal now if we if we did the same thing if we took that 20 minutes and we broke it down into 10 two minute bursts because you only had two minutes at a time before you had a rest you would approach it entirely differently and you would go and do those two minutes absolutely flat out and then over over the 10 at the end of that 10 you would be absolutely knackered your heart would be up at heart rate max and it might stay or, or, uh, up, heart, uh, elevated for the rest of the day, maybe even into the following day. Now, to improve aerobically, what we're, all that we want to do is to bring your heart rate up. And we do this by low intensity exercise. But if you did a short burst of high intensity, intensity exercise, which left you for hours afterwards with a, an elevated heart rate, you're getting an aerobic benefit, even though you've actually stopped the exercise. You're also burning more calories. So even from a weight loss point of view, it's more effective, right? But it is physically very demanding. And if you were very unfit, you would not be able to, to cope with the physical demands. But if you'd been on the, the, the weight loss program for a period of time and you had got yourself, you had got your weight down, you had got yourself a bit fitter, then you need to move on to a program that has got more uh, high intensity work in it. Now, when, when I first uh, started coaching um, at an international level back in 79, 80. I mean, all the athletes I had all worked, all worked full time. So we used to have uh, two formal gym sessions in a week on a Tuesday and Thursday, and we used to row Saturday and Sunday. On a Monday, they might go for a run. On a Wednesday, they might do go out sculling or something. Friday, they had off, and we trained at the weekend. But every session that we did formally together was absolutely flat out. You know, when, when I had those boys in the gym, I used to go around scraping them up off the equipment at the end of the day, you know, wrapping them up and getting them, uh, getting them home. Um, and, and every single session uh, that we did together were, were like that. At weekends, we would, uh, we, would, we would train competitively within the group in smaller boats, and everything was absolutely flat out, a lot of really high intensity work either in the gym or, or on the water. Now that crew went through the year completely unbeaten and, and they won the world championships in what was a, a, a world best time of 5.43. Now this, is, this was in 1980, we had wooden oars, you didn't have all the technology and these were part-time athletes. These, all, every one of these boys had a full-time job and even when we went on, on training camp, one, one boy took his engine out of his car and, and put a new clutch in. Uh, and, and this is the sort of thing that we, that, that we, that we did. You know, they, we had no money we, um, and we didn't have much time. And so uh, we, we come up with this program that used the time absolutely to the, the maximum. And it worked. And so the fast track program is based on those principles that when you go in, when you, when you turn up, you, you're going to work, you know, right? you've got an hour, so you're going to pack as much effort into that hour as you can. 
Okay? You've only got maybe four sessions a week, but at the end of that hour, you're going to know that you've had a workout and your heart rate will stay up maybe for 12, 13 hours after that session has, has finished. And that's where you're getting your aerobic benefit as well. So I know it works. And this is why I, I um, uh, come up with the, um, the, the fast track program. And the problem was, was that um, uh, we did uh, get a couple of, <laughs> a couple of younger blokes on the company to try it. And the, they, they picked one session, which I think uh, had, had something like, I, I don't know, it was, it was pretty tough. I, I did put on it double ARD, uh, you know, A-R-D, uh, ARD. Um, and this one was a double ARD session. And, um, uh, you know, uh, and it was, um, it was, well, it, in fact, it was treble ARD because <laughs> it couldn't be completed. So I did have to modify it. I did have to modify it to, to some extent. Um, and, um, and then what we, what I, what I then did was the, the first, the first program that I wrote, I left that at level five and then came down and started to reduce the intensities and, and uh, th there's five levels of it now and if you do the O'Neill fitness test that'll tell you at what level to to go on to the fast track program 